Welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today, we're going to be playing some more of our 100% run of Majora's Mask. All right, let's let you guys see. All righty. All righty. Uh, tell me how the levels are for the game. Um, it looks like it's quiet, but let me get it off. There we go. Okay, now it's like regular volume. It might be a little loud now, but y'all just tell me. Okay, here's what we're going to do first. First, we're going to go over to the potion shop over here. Now remember we reset time before it was time to go do the uh, dungeon. So we have to go save uh, our witchy friend in, again. She fell down in the forest. Um, she's fallen down and she can't get up. And the only thing that will save her is, um, is some red juice. Okay. So we're going to come over to the potion shop. And uh, her sister's going to fly away. And um... She does not care. She does not care that we're going to try to help. She's just going to fly away. Okay, so here's what we got to do. <clears throat> yeah, this is how Link should be dressed. With the bunny ears and everything. I mean, it's the year of the rabbit. He's just celebrating, right? He's just celebrating. It's not like a slut thing or anything. So anyway, we got to talk to our monkey friend again. Follow me. It's day two, so we have a different route. So we're gonna, but we gotta follow the monkey, just like before. There's a hole there you can jump down if you would like. It's rupees, I'm pretty sure, down there. Um, so we're not gonna bother. Hey, look, there she is, the bitch that flew off, but don't talk to her yet. First, we got to find the sister. Um, so, because remember, she doesn't know that we already saved her once. She doesn't know. So we gotta go find her. Here she is. Oh, ow, ow, help me! Okay, what's up, lady? I was just busy, uh, just busy minding my own business picking mushrooms when BAM! I got hit from behind! That pesky skull kid, did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, ow! To think he was that powerful! Now I can't even move! You, don't you have anything that gives you energy? Not, not right now. Sorry. Ah, what is this? You're no help. I say, you're not at all what you make yourself out to be. How do you know what I make myself out to be? Are you talking about how I unpoisoned the swamp? Because I did do that. I did do that. Okay. I did. I did. Okay. So now what you got to do, what you got to do with all that junk. Okay. We got to go now um, talk to the sister. So we go back in the woods. <laughs> so we go back in the woods. Follow the monkey again. We need to talk to the sister. Stupid turtle. Okay. So if you... Come on. There we go. So you do Z-target her, she'll float down, and then you can talk to her. Eee, hmm, did you need in something? What's that? The skull kid got to call me? That's ridiculous. If it's just Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh, well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. Do, 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 do. So we got another free red potion. Yay. All right. I'm headed back to the potion shop for now, so I'm counting on you. She flies away. Now, if you have the path memorized, you can just follow the monkey. But um, I don't remember. Maybe it's this way. No, it's not that way. Anyway, if you can remember the path, you can just walk right through again. You don't have to do the re-entering and following the monkey again. But I don't remember what the path is for the second day. Um, so we're just going to go back in and follow the monkey again. I do know he goes this way. Aflac. It's the Aflac turtle. Stupid bitch turtles. Okay, and there she is again. The Lost Woods music is pretty fucking awesome, that's true. Oh, wow! Don't you feel obligated to help a sorry old hag when you see one? Okay, so now we can give her the potion. And 
And again, don't just do the potion. You gotta talk to her first. Otherwise, you'll just drink the potion in front of her, just like before. Ah, oh, that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotake's. <laughs> you walk that dog, Ninja. You walk that dog. Oh, feel the energy flow. Komi is relieved. Okay, and now she can summon her broom and fly off too. You saved me. I'm the swamp tour guide. I run the boat cruise, so come by if you want a free ride. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll take my free ride, lady. Okay, so we saved her again. And now we can go back and do the boat cruise. But first, there's something I want to show you guys. So at the end of the last Majora's Mask stream, we got the Mask of Sense. So I wanna show you what it does. Um, there is nothing that's required for this mask. Uh, the only reason to really get it is just for completionists sake. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna show you what it does, but you really don't ever need to do anything with this mask. So you put it on, oh my God, why are you lagging? Anyway, you put it on and you can see here, oh, there's like purple smoke. So what you can do with this mask is you can detect purple mushrooms, okay? And so we're gonna do that. Come on, get it. Okay, and then you put the smurple purple smoke in a bottle and it's a magic mushroom. Wow, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take that off. We don't need that no more. And now we're gonna go back to the potion shop now that um, the witch is in there. <laughs> Some guys have to put on the charm to get a free ride. Well, you know what? When you're um, old and magical, I guess you don't have to do that. Okay, emulator, I don't know why you're having so much trouble. I feel like the emulator's having a lot of trouble right now. Maybe it's the being in the swamp on the rainy day, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, Link's already on a trip. He doesn't um, really need the mushrooms, but uh, but I'll show you what we can do with them. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna talk to the lady. Come on, talk to her. Hee hee hee, welcome. My potions work very well, they do. Komei told me all about it. Hmm, so did you take the boat cruise yet? No, I didn't. Okay, so if you scroll over here, you can see that blue potion says, actually, I can't get the ingredients for this. I'm sold out, sorry. Okay, but we're gonna talk to her. Hmm, if only I had some fragrant mushrooms. And then we can give her some. Here you go, lady. <gasps> what, a scent? Oh, you did a great job finding this one. I just haven't been able to get my hands on any of them, and that puts me in a real pinch. Well, I can use this to make something, so come back later. Okay, so she says that, but really all you have to do is leave the shop for a second and then walk right back in. And now... Welcome. My potions work very well, they do. Komei told me all about it. Okay, anyways. No, I haven't. So now... There we go, we can get blue potion. It says I just brewed up this cure-all, it goes down easy and gets right to work. So we can actually buy this. Um, yep, and you get the first one for free, so it tells you that. <laughs> you can spam hydrate, I got my water. <clears throat> okay, the blue potion, so here's the reason why this is like really not required or, or interesting or necessary. Not, it's not very long from now that you're gonna get access to um, something else that's like better than Blue Potion. So like you can do this and use the Mask of Sense and all that stuff if you want to get Blue Potion, but like it's super unnecessary um, and, uh, and it's only useful for like this section of the game between now and getting access to uh, uh, one other item, so. You can do that if you want, it restores your magic. Which is cool, but like, like I said, there's better later. That's easier. Give me some hearts. Oh, arrows. I guess you can give me rubies, that's fine. 
Okay. Whatever. I tried. Alright, so we can come up here. And uh, the boat cruise lady is back, of course, because we saved her. And now we can do the better boat cruise. So we already have taken the boat cruise before, but now that we have the swamp cleared, she'll give us a different boat cruise. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. As a special just for you, I'll let you take this cruise for free. Oh, but wait. Yes, just as I thought. It seems the poison swamp has been cleared up, so why not try something that's more interesting? How about a little game? I'll fly you around on my broom and I'll tr you try to hit my target. Doesn't sound fun? Yes, it sure does sound fun. That's the way to go. But let me explain. You're not aiming for me with the bow. You're aiming for the target. If you hit me, I'll never forgive you. Okay, so <laughs> we uh, we gotta we gotta hit the bitch without hitting the bitch. Okay, now I got no aim, as you guys know. So you know we're just gonna try. Bitch. Don't hit her, hit the target. Where'd she go? Oh man, that should have been another hit. I was robbed. too much. Oh, I hit her way too many times. So this is what happens when you hit her too many times. <laughs> Hi, Lands! I'm doing good. Just doing some of the hardest mini games in all of Zelda right now. <laughs> Uh, I'm seriously questioning the hitboxes on many of these targets. Yes, they look like they should hit, and then they don't. Um, this is the easiest of the three mini games we're going to attempt to do today. It's very, very hard. Um, so yeah, if you shoot her uh, ten times, the game ends. And we're trying to get um, 20 shots without hitting her ten times. As you saw, I got 17, but I hit her ten times, so like... I fucked up. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Now that you guys see how this game works, we are gonna save our state and then save state. Okay, so I've got two save states. So we're gonna try again. Oh, you again? If you'd like to play this game, it's 10 rupees. Okay, so now you gotta do it for 10 rupees. Okay, and she explains it again. Yeah, it's super challenging and we're gonna do two more mini games, maybe today, hopefully, that are even more challenging. You're especially challenging for someone like me that ain't got no aim. Look at that in a second. I heard the notification. Hey. 
Hey, did it! Let's see if I can get more. Y'all heard that extra ding on the 20? All right, sweet. Okay, what happened? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Welcome in, Jack, welcome in. Um, I'm Karen Terry. I am a variety streamer. Uh, the main game that I stream is Sims 2, but I also really love narrative games, so I also stream um, to show games that I think have a really good story, such as Majora's Mask. In addition to that, I have a podcast where I do a lot of media analysis and such like that. That's on um, Saturdays, and then we have community days on Saturdays as well, where we play Stardew Valley as a group. Um, so thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it, and welcome in. Okay. Whew, 27. I think that's the highest I've ever gotten. And here we go. You got a piece of heart. Heck yes. Okay. So that's a whole new container for us, I'm pretty sure. Um, Let's see. Yep, that was a whole new container. Okay. So there we go. The easiest of the three shooting mini mini games in, in uh, Majora's Mask. There are two other shooting mini games. So we're gonna go over to the other one that requires you to clean the swamp first. I'm pretty sure it requires you to clean the swamp first. It's in the swamp anyways. I never done it before, um, it, you clean the swamp. So I think you can't, but maybe you can, I don't know. But anyway, it's over here. So this little area that I told you guys we'd come look at later, now we're gonna come look at it. So let's go. And you can come to this little guy right here. Okay, this is the Swamp Shooting Gallery. We need to beat this mini game <laughs> twice. Okay, twice. Um, wants to get a quiver upgrade and wants to get a piece of heart. So, let's go. Oh, mate. Who are you? Wanna play? Okay, so we are going to save state. Okay, all right. The rules to my game are a piece of cake. Shoot for the targets atop the platforms. You gotta hit them all. That's all there is to it. If you don't aim proper with the control stick, you won't hit any of them. Are you ready, mate? No, I'm not ready. Okay, well that's pretty darn good, mate. Perfect, here you go, take this, mate. Okay, so we got the quiver upgrade. I can't believe I did that perfect the first time. Holy shit, now we have to do it perfect again. Only the second perfect score has to be um, with six seconds remaining so you can get the bonus points and then you get a piece of heart. Holy shit, um, I don't, I've never done that on the first try. I've never ever done that on the first try. Um, I, um, yeah, <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Oh, all right, tell your friends all about us, all right, mate? And don't worry, don't worry, sir, I fucking will. 
I fucking will. We're gonna save. We're gonna save our state, okay? We're gonna save our state. Okay. Hey, Garnet, how's it going? So, um, if y'all noticed, I kind of knew where the different things were. That's due to the audio cues. So there's a certain sound for when the, the um, Deku scrubs pop up. There's a certain sound for when the crows come in. And there's a certain sound for when a wolf runs across. And then plus you have to get the two Dekus in the top um, right corners of each. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I ain't got no rupees. Okay, let's go fix that. Let's go get some fucking rupees. <sighs> Oh my gosh, how are you doing today, Garnet? <laughs> I'm uh I'm I'm trying to beat the hardest mini games in all of Zelda. <laughs> Heck yeah. It's totally the perfect way to start start a cozy Sunday. Give me some rupees, bitch. I didn't say keys. I didn't say gimme keys. I said gimme rupees. I need five more. Don't need magic. I need rupees. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Yeah, that's what I said. What I said. Oh my god, there's not enough rupees here. We're gonna go, get, go in the hole. We're gonna go in the hole. <clears throat> Don't don't jinx me, Koneko, don't jinx me. Cause the third minigame is the hardest, and we still have to beat this one one more time. Um, and we gotta beat it even better than we did last time. There we go. There's rupees. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Whew. I got some adrenaline going right now. Beating that the first time, I can't believe it. I swear to God, this mini game is really hard. It's not easy. Um, maybe just because I, I practiced a couple weeks ago, I don't really know. But anyways, let's uh, save state again. Okay, yes. All right, here we go. All right, I know, I know, I did it. I, did, I can do it, I can do it. Can't miss a single thing. Fuck. <laughs> Not as lucky this time. Thank you. 
Oh, did I do the wrong side? I did the wrong fucking side. I'm not gonna have the mid seconds left at the end. <gasps> Wait, yes, I am! <sighs> that should be enough seconds. That should be enough. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Who? <sighs> I'm so channel. I'm channeling Ganon. That's what's happening. That that personality quiz. I'm just. I'm just fucking channeling Ganon today. I'm here to win. Okay. It's time for a seven year reign. Let's go. Okay. Let's fucking go. Oh wait. What am I doing? I need to fly back to Clock Town. <laughs> I need to fly back to Clock Town. What's so what's the song of soaring? Come here. Um, down, left, up. Okay, and we'll go back to Clock Town. Yeah, say the thing, Koneko. We've got one more mini game. We have to beat that one twice too. <sighs> that keys was like looming behind me. You know, there's a thing called Let's Play Curse that makes people heck up when they're playing for other people. You have the opposite. I actually do think I have the Let's Play Curse. <laughs> I do think I have the Let's Play Curse, but um, but it's not, uh, it didn't curse me yet. Maybe it's going to curse me on this final game. Maybe it's going to curse me on this final game. We'll see. Okay. Is it? Oh, it's on the other. No, no, it's here. It's here. The Let's Play Blurse. I got the Let's Play Blurse today. I got it today. Whew, okay, last one. Last one. <laughs> if you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? Oh, wait, I need more rupees. Okay, let me show you guys where you can find um, a rupee. Uh, we're going to use the blast mask for this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, fun spot to find a rupee. I will show you. Oh my gosh, emulator, why are you jacking up today? The stream's not dropping frames, by the way, you guys. It's li the emulator's dropping frames. I want one, too. Oh, yeah. That's what he says if you walk up to him wearing the bunny hood. So cute. So cute. Let me check my notebook. Oh, my, my code is. My code is 53241. Okay. Okay. There we go. Five. I think it was five, two, three, four, one. That was right. Oh, no, I remembered it wrong. Hang on. Do this one more time. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. I know the code. I'm just, I have a bad memory. Holy crap. 53241. Okay, 53241. We got this. 53241. 53241. Five, there we go. Yep, I know the code. I am doing the ribbon thing again. I can't count. I can't count. It, it, it is known. It is known. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so anyways, here's a place to find some money, money, money. Um, so if you come over here and you dodge the little skull spider, dodge the spider, and we're gonna explode. Oh, where's my shield? Yeah, there we go. Always put up your shield when you blast mask, because then you won't lose any hearts, somehow. I don't know. Alright, so here's a silver rupee! So that's another silver rupee spot that exists in the game. Bitch. No, I don't got time for you. I got shooting games to do. God. <clears throat> Alright, so now we got lots of rupees. And then the shooting gallery is down here. This building right here with the Octorok. Karen still can't count. <laughs> Thanks, Koneko. I appreciate that. It's true. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, if you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sunny? Da 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 da. Okay. All right. So you gotta hit, hit, 
hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. If you hit a blue one, you lose time, so watch out. You can use as many arrows as you like. Press the B to shoot them. Okay. Our highest score is 39. If you break the record, you win a spectacular prize. Good luck. Okay. So we're trying to hit the red Octorox. This one, bitch. Okay. Damn it, missed two. Three. Bitch. Ah, uh, no, I'm doing so bad. Damn it. Didn't quite get it. Okay. So we don't, you don't get anything, uh, really for that. All right, so let's do a save state. There we go. Yeah, I, I think I need to get over 44. That was over. Oh my gosh, crap. I'm doing it. Of this time. Jinxed it, maybe. Um, are you, this is the hardest of the three. Okay, this is the hardest of the three. If I'm gonna have trouble with any of them, it's gonna be this one. So let me explain a little bit how this works. It's the same pattern every save file, but every save file is gonna have a different pattern. So this pattern you're seeing over and over on mine, it's not the same every game, but my pattern is always gonna be this. Yes, I'll be there. I'm just gonna do that too. Come on, I want to start using the next one. Okay, right, perfect. the happy-go-lucky music slowly get more and more annoying for you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. No, probably not. But I'm sure it could for some people. Yeah, it is learnable. Yeah, it is. It's totally learnable. Okay. Um, let's load save. I'm gonna try one more time without cheesing it, and then we're gonna, we're gonna cheese, I think. Thank you. 
bitch. Fuck yeah, I knew I could get the quiver without cheesing. <sighs> yeah, I stopped hearing it. I think that's probably what's really happening. 41, there we go. Okay, so we got the largest quiver and we can now hold up to 50 euros. So if you beat both of those mini games, you can get the largest quiver. And um, now I can carry 50 arrows. So we've got our quiver holds 50 and we've got our 30 bomb bag right there. Okay. Whew. <clears throat> All right. Let's save right there. And then... Uh, save. All right. Hell yeah, we quivered up. All right, so we have to do it one more time, but instead of having to get 40, we have to get a perfect score of 50 where we hit all the purple ones. So, since we have save states, you can cheese it. So basically what I have done is inside my emulator, I have set my save state keys to some hot keys. To, uh, to save and load the state. And because each pattern, each one is like, it's the same, I can kind of cheese it by doing like just each one until I get it right and then move to the next one. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so now I can load. Oh, it didn't work. What happened? Load. Wait, my emulator's not set up properly. Okay. I thought I had it. Hang on. Uh, system load state. Okay. Let's look at my settings. All right, so sorry, the game's just gonna awkwardly pause for a second. Okay, it's set correctly. Okay. Then save state. <clears throat> Three days of character development, which details the relationship of Terminal. Oh my god, that would be so cool, Moo Moo. <laughs> All right, Koneko. All right, I'm going to try to beat it before you get back from dinner. Let's see if I can do it. All right, let's load up. <laughs> Yeah, let's try. Okay, so... Yep, that's my score. Oh my god, I'm already fucking up. Ah! Okay. Uh... Yeah, okay, it's working now. I don't know why those hot... Those hotkeys were programmed, but they weren't working. <laughs> Yep, that's me. I did that. Damn it. trouble with that phase. Well, it doesn't help that I'm moving my arrows up and down. I feel like they're too high. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Press the wrong fucking button. There is a blue one behind there, that's why I keep hearing the noise. struggling with this fucking phase. There we go. Okay, so that's how I recommend to do this. Fucking cheesing it just like I did, playing each state until you get it perfect before you move on to the next one. You can't do this on the original hardware, which is why I never ever beat this mini game before. But with an emul emulator, you too can get this piece of heart. Okay, what? No way, that was perfect. Well, here you go. <laughs> Anybody that can do this on original hardware, you're a fucking wizard, okay? You're just... Are you Legolas? I mean... I... You must be. Alright, you guys. Okay. <laughs> now that we've done all the fun stuff with our bow, um, we're actually gonna go back to the swamp. We're gonna go back to the swamp. We're gonna do another fun thing in the swamp. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we wanna go, I think, let's go to Woodfall. Yeah. Now, I don't think that you have to cleanse the swamp to do this, um, but this is where I like to do this thing. Um, now, if we had taken forever on those mini games, my plan was to wait and um, and do this later. So, um, yeah, but we beat them. So we're going to do the next thing that I wanted to do. <laughs> they used this game to find both Legolas and Katniss. Fuck, I believe it. Orlando Bloom, do you, um, are you really good at, uh, at the shooting games in Majora's Mask? Can you do it without cheesing it? Because I can't, not the Clock Town one. The other ones, obviously, I mean, I just did them, but like the Clock Town one, fuck no. Fuck no, I cannot. Whee! Alright. Oh, is this gonna work in the rain? I gotta burn this. Yeah, I gotta burn this. 
Is the rain gonna put my stick out? No. It's still gonna work. <clears throat> Flash your sword so you don't waste your sticks. Okay, so this right here is the Swamp Spider House. This is a really fucked up looking spider. Let's talk to him. Help me! I'm not a monster! The spider's curse, it made me this way. I beg of you, and here, find them all. The gold ones, the cursed spiders. Defeat them, quickly. And when you defeat them, don't forget, the spider token, it contains the spider's spirit. If you lift the curse, I'll teach you something good. Hurry, please. This is awful. Okay. Now, you might want to wait to do this later because you have to use your bottles for this. And we only have one bottle right now. So we're going to do it. But it's a lot easier if you have more than one bottle. Um, now, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out from those games. I can't believe I did them so fast. I'm going to take just like two seconds. I'm going to go pee real quick. I'll be right back and then we're going to do this house. All right. <laughs> oh, and nin yeah, Ninja just just uh, learned about my fast bathroom breaks the other day. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay. So, oh, I forgot something. I need to go buy some magic beans. I forgot that I have to buy magic beans. So we're actually gonna go back and buy some. Um. <clears throat> uh, we need to. Oh, I have my ocarina. We're gonna go buy some beans. Forgot I need them for this. Good thing I have my notes. <clears throat> so for this house, you need two beans, you need some arrows, arrows, and you need some Deku sticks. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to fly to Woodfall. I wasn't paying attention. I meant to fly to Swamp. There we go. Watering the plants, I still cannot work out the speed. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Ninja. I don't, I don't I don't have no kids, okay? I don't have no kids. I have, though, um, had a kidney infection. I almost died, for real. Um, I was in college, and I got a UTI, and, like, I didn't know what was up with that, that you can't just, like, you know, take a lot of fluids and it go away on its own, because they always had before, but this time it didn't, and then I thought it had gone away. But no, it had not gone away. It had turned into a kidney infection. And I was at work. This is a gross story. Whatever, I don't care. Um, I was at work, and um, and my, my stomach really, really hurt, like really bad. And um, so I thought like, oh, I must be sick. I just need to like, you know, be sick and then I'll feel better. Like I, I, I was treating it like it was a hangover or something. So I get sick, I go to the bathroom, I get sick. And um, then I didn't feel better. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what's going on. So I call my mom and she's like, um, you need to go to the hospital, you have a kidney infection. And I was like, what? So anyway, then I call my boss and I was like, I'm leaving, I'm gonna die if I don't go to the hospital. I don't remember if anyone came in to relieve me. Honestly, I really don't remember much after that. And then I called my husband and I was like, I have to go to the hospital. Um, and then he was like, what? And uh, he met me at the hospital. And he remembers this a lot better than I do, but I was in there for like, I don't know, a day or two, maybe one day. Um, and then they were like, okay, you're not gonna die. Here's, some, here's a prescription for antibiotics. And then I went and got the antibiotics and I didn't die. Obviously, I'm still here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, 
it was very progressed kidney infection. So uh, now I have the amazing side effect of being totally unable to hold it for more than like 10 minutes. So I don't know, maybe that's part of it. <clears throat> also do your Kegels, kids. It helps. That's about all I know about that. <laughs> But yeah, if you ever have a UTI, go to the doctor and get actual antibiotics. Don't just drink a bunch of water like I did, thinking that's going to flush it out and that you're going to be fine. Um, because eventually, it won't flush out. You'll think it's gone, but it's actually just migrated to your kidneys. And is trying to kill you. Okay, we're back! Back to the swamp spider house now that we've got our beans. Okay, and we got to find sculptulas in this house. It's the gold sculptulas, just like you do in Ocarina of Time, except that they're they're all in here instead of like spread all throughout the world. Okay. So we're gonna need some bugs. We're gonna need some bugs. I think we need those first before we need anything else. So we're gonna put our bugs in a bottle. I'm a bug in a bottle, baby. Gotta rub me the right way, honey. Oh, there we go. Go back here. Okay. So in the central room, we come down here. I think there's one, like, even right on the floor. There it is. First you step on it and get hurt, and then you slash it with your sword, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. There's one over here. I think. It's on one, there's one on one of these. Where are you, buggy? Yeah. Yeah, it is a bummer. Um, but I'm all better now, and I don't do stupid stuff like that anymore. Okay, come on, I know you're on one of these. Ah, here's one. Alright, and the cool thing about this, the way that this little mini dungeon works is that you know there's still sculptulas in the room if you can hear their little noises. Okay. Ah, there you are. I knew there was one on the pillar. Come, what, bitch? I have 50 arrows now, what you gonna do? Oh no, I don't have the hookshot to get it. I shouldn't have shot him up there. I didn't realize it wasn't going to fall down. Okay, wait. Eee, I might have fucked myself. Will you fall down now? Okay, you're back at the spatula. Whatever, we'll wait for him to come down. I'm waiting for you, bitch. I'm waiting for you. I'm right here. Right here. Right here can't you can't you can't avoid me you can't avoid me about to be the third day <coughs> there we go another one okay and then I'm pretty sure it's in this hole so right here we release the bugs And this, the clue that you're supposed to release bugs here is um, the fact that you can't really plant, you can't plant the beans on the side of the wall, so you're just supposed to figure that out. Okay, so now we got to go get more bugs, because I'm pretty sure that's the next thing we need to. We're gonna go get more bugs. Oh, 
Oh, it's the night of the second day. It's not even third day yet. All right, we got more bugs, so let's go back. Um, there should be another soft soil patch in this room. Oh, there's one on just the other side of the wall. Okay, so there's two of those. I'm gonna do the same thing. So you can see why maybe you want to wait until you have your second bottle to do this, because then you could just have gotten two bugs and, uh, and not have to back and forth, back and forth so much. Because you also need water, obviously, because we have beans, so we need water. So we have to collect some water. So now we're gonna go in this room. I think this is right. Is this what I wanted to do? I don't think this isn't the right room. This isn't the right room for now. The room with the tombstone. I must have meant to go over here. Yeah, this is the tombstone. Okay. We're gonna bust up some crates. Oop, not climb them. We're gonna bust them up. Stop, Link. You gotta break them. Not roll on them. There we go. Okay. I thought there was more. No, oh, there is more. There's another crate one. Knew there was. Let's check my notes. There it is. Okay. Get him. All right. Now we need our bomb mask for this boulder. All right. Get our shield up. And boom. Oh. Go on. There we go. All right, so here you can see this one is in the ground. So here we're supposed to plant. Now we can ride the flower. Aw, it was too slow, I have to ride it back around. Okay, there's one on top of the tombstone here. Um, we're gonna ride it back around though, and then we're gonna try to jump on the tombstone. <clears throat> so there are 25 sculptures total in this room. Oh, shoot, I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Anyway, we'll wait for it to come back down. Then we'll go get on top of the tomb soon and get that one we just saw. And you know you've cleared a room when they stop making the scratchy noises. Oh, bitch. That wasn't right. So who's going to who's going to be watching the um Super Bowl coming up in a couple weeks? I know playoffs are today. Um I know playoffs are today. I guess I don't really have any strong feelings about any of the four teams, but we are gonna be having a superb owl party. So that Sunday stream will be a little bit earlier. I am part of a raid train, so I'm doing an, a raid train that is a little bit earlier than what I'm used to. Well, I'll still be streaming four hours, but just slightly different times. So I'll put that on Twitter and on Discord um, when it gets a little closer. Uh, and then of course we're gonna have a, and we're gonna have a superb owl party. So I'm excited, mostly to eat. Bitch, stop! Oh my god. Be stop pushing your joystick so far, Karen. Motherfucker. 
I ain't got no aim, you guys. I don't know how I did those mini games. I don't know how I did those mini games. I, I really think like, okay, when I was getting ready to play this game, I knew I was gonna play it like in, so this was in December. I was doing a little bit of practice just to get used to the controls again so I wouldn't be fumbling around the first couple streams. Um, Cause N64 controls are a whole thing. Um, so I got up to this point, this was about where I stopped the practice and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be good. I'm good, I'm comfy. Um, so I had practiced all of all three of those mini games that we just played. So, you know, I guess that's, um, okay, there we go. And then it knocks me off. Mm. Why don't we do this? Okay, why don't we do this? Can I hit him with an arrow from down here? So like he's dead already? Such that I can kill him? Or is the angle wrong? Aha, I can. Okay. Now it should be okay. Now he won't knock me off. And now it's it probably okay even if I fall, because I can just like jump at the gold. Oh, why did it do a small jump just because I was targeting? Get off that. Anyway, let's try again <laughs> for like the sixth time. And you can hear like the very faint skitter skitter, so there's one more in this room. Okay. You can do it this time. Yeah, you can hear it. It's like above me somewhere. There we go, got it. All right, now we're gonna take the ladder up. Okay, and he's up here somewhere. I see him. There he is. Bye. All right, so we got that. If we come through here, we're back in the main room. We're just on the top part of it. But we need to go get more bugs. So we're going to go back to the entrance and get more bugs. There we go. Got some bugs. Oh my gosh, why is the emulator stuttering so much today? Don't understand it. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. I'll tell you what, I'm getting about tired of in the ear earbuds. I ordered some like over the ear, like ones that are supposed to conduct the sound through like your your, your bones. Um, I'm really excited to try those out. They're supposed to get here tomorrow. Um, at work, we just converted over to using that type of, um, headphones instead of, like, it going in your ear, and I really, really liked them, so I'm excited to see how those pan out. Okay, so that's on the pillar. All right, we've got a Deku flower up here, so what we should be able to do, I think... I don't have my bunny hood on. That's why I was like, why am I so slow? Oh, wrong button. There we go. Alright, so then we can Deku flower over to it, I think. Oh, and there's a Deku flower in the middle, too. 
Okay, let's do a flower to the middle. Yay! And then we'll go over here. Oh, I can take the Deku mask off. All right, this is another one on the wall. So what does that mean? That means we need our bugs. <clears throat> I guess the Sculptulas are allergic to the little bugs um, because they pop right out. They will not share a home with the little bugs. Okay, now we can go through this door right here. <clears throat> All right, this is the beehive room, right? Yes, it is the beehive room. Okay, some of these have, <laughs> some of these have bees and some of these have sculptulas. So, uh, let's see. It's a bee. Don't knock me down, bitch. Don't you knock me down. All right, is it a bee or is it a sculptula? It's nothing. Okay, bee or sculptula? It's a sculptula. Okay, there's one more. I'm pretty sure that's a sculptula too. Oh my god, if I could aim. There we go. <coughs> Yay, okay. Now we can, um, I'm pretty sure hop down. Yeah, we can hop down. Oh my god. Get him! Stop letting him get you. There we go. Okay, so that's 14 and 15. And then let's break some pots. There's another one. And I got some hearts. Link, fill up your hearts. Okay, and then I think if we... Oh, I can't remember which ones. But if you roll into these pots, I think there's one or two more. We're going to check all the pots. Aha, there we go. All right, then this is a false wall. You can walk through here, and there's another one. Okay, and then this guy has apparently slept through the whole freaking thing. But luckily, we know a song that wakes you up. So that is, come here. Uh, up left, up left, A right A, okay. There we go. Now he will wake up. <laughs> and apparently, he really didn't like being woken up. Um, he's very angry. He's hopping around. Very angry. And uh, he disappeared into the ground. So, like, that's cool for him. And we know what to do with Deku flowers. We dive. Oh, I was supposed to shoot him first. <laughs> Let's shoot him with snot bubbles. Where'd he go? I thought he was on that wall. All right, let's do this then. I saw him a second ago. Let's fly up and get into the pink flower, because that's where I was when I saw him. 
I guess I should have shot him down when I was over here. Oh, he's way up there. Okay, that's why it's a yellow flower then. Because he's way the fuck up there. Oh my god. I can't aim. There we go. Okay. He's pretty low, so I think I can just walk over there. Oh, not quite. Hang on, maybe if I'm Link. Oh, Link can't quite get it either. Dang it. Okay, so I do need this stupid flower. There we go. 20. Five left. Let's break the box. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything in there, but just to see. Okay, so now we're here. Let's break these pots. All right, and then this is a switch. And now we have a ladder. Sweet. So we can jump down. So we tried to come in this room before because I got turned around, but um, you have to go through it this way so you can do the switch because otherwise you can't really do anything in here. Like you can't get any of the sculptulas. So we come from this direction. Oh, I thought there was sculptulas in there. Oh, well anyway, here's the other bean that we gotta do. Um... Bean. Oh, but I gotta get more water. Oh my gosh. Link, just jump off. There we go. Alright, so the water. This will take us back to the main room. So we can just get more water. Alright, then we climb. And we plant some beans. Beans are good for us. Beans take you higher. <clears throat> should have I should have arrowed them first. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that actually. <clears throat> Get him first. There we go. Now we can just get him. Ah, why didn't I get him? Oh my god. The heck, game? Is it gonna make me jump? Is it gonna make me jump for him? I thought I could just like stand on this little edge. No, I don't have to get him like that. Okay. <clears throat> oh! <clears throat> Didn't mean to jump like that. Alright, there is also more beehives. And it's the same as last time where I think one of them though, not two, contains a sculptula. And some of them contain bees. So, let's see if we can find the sculptula before we find the bees. Oh my gosh, it's going to be the last one. Oh, 
There we go. <clears throat> All right. Um, we got to backtrack, I think, to get that one. I don't think there's a way I can get back over there. I should have grabbed him before, because there's no Deku flowers or anything. Okay, let's backtrack just a little bit. This one on this pillar. We need to slash him and then jump down and get him. Yay! Okay, so that's number 24. So there is one Skulchilla left. So let's go through here. Last place we haven't been is the tree room. There's more bugs in here, but where the Skulchula is, he just chilling. All right, 25th Skulchula. Oh wait, there's not 25, there's 30. <gasps> there's 30, but anyway, they're all in this room. I should scroll down on the excellent notes that I took. Oh. Come here, bitch. Can't just hurt me. Up the tree. There's more beehives, though, and I'm pretty sure there's sculptures in the beehives, too. Bees or is it a Skulchula? It's bees. It's bees. Oh my god, hit the bee. <laughs> okay. Um, I assume we have to roll into the tree? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I think that's all the rest of them. That's 28. 29. And then 30. There we go. So we got... You collected the golden Skulchula spirits. The curse is now lifted. Yay! Okay, so now we gotta go back and talk to the man that was like half person, half Skulltula with the fucked up face. So you could use the Deku uh, snot to do this before you get the arrows, but like, why would you? I would think. <clears throat> So I think you don't have to wait until it's the swamp is clear, but I've never done it before the swamp is clear. Now he's a regular dude. Oh, I've been saved. I thought I was going to die. You see, a while back, someone told me I could become rich and he gave me this mask. He said the instructions were inscribed somewhere in here, but when I went to look, I was cursed. If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I never would have taken it. Here, take it. It's yours. We got the mask of truth. Okay, this mask allows you to hear and understand the wisdom of Gossip Stones. So now we can talk to Gossip Stones, and they will actually give you lots of hints throughout the game. So this was a really good thing to do if you didn't have a guide or anything. The Gossip Stones, a lot of times, if you would just talk to random ones, they would tell you, like, all kinds of shit. I've had enough of this. As soon as I get it together, I'm going home. Okay, you can go home now. So we helped him. Even though he's not part of our bomber's notebook, we helped him. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This one is Oreo. Um, Oreo is a himbo, okay? He never had a single thought in his entire life. Um, we try to like entertain him with like table scraps and things. He doesn't understand. <laughs> um, he likes cat food. He likes scratching the scratching post. 
and um, any any his. <laughs> okay, we like to say so. Queen is is our other cat, so we like to say he's Queen's kitty. Okay, Queen is his favorite person in the whole house, and he loves Queen, and Queen loves him, so he loves cuddling with Queen as well. All right, so now we're gonna go back to Southern Swamp. Yes, looks like Sissy, same pattern. Welcome back, Koneko. Hey, Koneko, we did it. We did it, and then we beat the Skulltula house. Um, so, so thank you. Thank you for all those good vibes. Um, we, we are the Winrars. We did it. And now we have the Mask of Truth. And we can do some really fun stuff with this. First, we have to do our lawn care. It's important to maintain a healthy lawn. There we go. All right, let's go back. So there's a couple of things that we can do with the Mask of Truth, a couple of heart pieces that we can get. So the first one is we're going to um, make all of the holes the same color. I'll show you what that means. <laughs> uh, let's go. All right, so we're in the south right now. Um, the south one is over here, I think. There should be a hole over here. Kind of like in this area. Is it the one, is it the butterfly hole? There's this hole, I think this is a different hole. This was the pea hat hole, wasn't it? Yeah, this is the pea hat hole. I think the south hole is over in this upper part. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's look a different spot. Maybe it's over here. <laughs> is the pee hat hole? Is the pee hole? <laughs> Y'all want to know how I use the bathroom so fast? Okay, where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Is this hole? Is this hole? All right, so there's a spider, but we can just walk around him. Now that we can talk to these, we can see what they have to say. The mystical stone responds to you, responds to the mask, and speaks to you. But its words are heard in secret. It seems all the strange stones that are arranged in a row wish to be the same color. Okay, so here's how we make them the same color. We play a special song. We I, we might have to be the Deku for this song, but I'm not sure. Um, so the only one of the these the four temple songs we have is Sonata of Awakening. So that's what we're gonna use. Okay, no, I do have to be the Deku. Okay, so let's get our Deku mask. Okay, and now he turns green. All right, so we gotta do that to four other holes. So let's go find the west hole. And they're all kind of around the perimeter like this. So the west one is, I think, over here. Where are you? I thought you were in this area. Maybe... No, maybe it's up here. Is 
it the one? Do I have to, is it, I think it, maybe it's the one under the boulder. Yeah, okay, there it is. All right, so you can see the one on the left, we already made him green, but this big one, this is one that is a different big one. So we're going to, again, put on our Deku mask. Oh, just kidding. Okay, now we're gonna put on our Deku mask and we're gonna play the Sonata of Awakening. Why didn't that do it? Was I not close enough? Hang on. Do I have to talk to him for- No, I got the do-do-do-do's. This should work. Maybe I have to talk to it first. No, I just wasn't close enough. Okay, now two of them are green. All right, so let's continue around. We're gonna now go to the north. Oh, Kamaro's over there again, because we've reset time, so he's, he's sad. He's sad dancing over there. Okay, this is the north one. <laughs> All right, and same thing, put on our Deku mask. Redeemable villains must always get slut, always. I mean, Ganon would be slut in this game if Link wasn't here, but Link is so obviously like a super sleut that, um, you know, uh, Ganon has to be loser instead. I don't make the rules. I just, I just know in my heart that, uh, that Link is a slut. All right. Now this one is up by the observatory. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, back here. All right, so here we go. This is our last truth hole. Nope, nope, we're not close enough. Definitely close enough now. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, Link's totally gardening equipment. All right, so now they are all green. Now you could do this with the, the other temples. Obviously we're gonna get songs for the other temples just like we did to pull open the, the uh, Woodfall Temple. Um, so you could wait and do this with other ones, but you can go ahead and do it now um, pretty much as soon as you as you do that. Um, I don't even think you have to have the Mask of Truth to complete it. I was just waiting to do it because I wanted to show you guys what it said. Like it tells you what to do. All right, and there's one other thing we can do with the Mask of Truth. We're gonna go do it. And it's on Milk Road. <clears throat> Did I just fly away from there and not even open the chest? I forget to open the chest? Oh my god. No, I picked up the heart piece. Right? Yeah, new container, then we got a piece from the two. Okay, no, I'm good. I just brain farted and thought I didn't do it, but I totally did. Okay. So now we are gonna do a little thing in Romani Ranch that you can't do um, really until you get the Mask of Truth. Like, I mean, you can do it before, but not realistically. 
Um, but I need some more money. We need 50 rupees for this. So actually, let's go mow some lawns. And then we'll come back into this little area. All right, stupid bird, don't you bother me. No ruby drops. Okay. Come over here. Almost. A few more rupees. We need 50 for this. There's more grass! Yeah! I'll kill you too! What? I've been jinxed! Oh no! I need my sword! Ah! That sucks! Okay, well anyways, I got 50 rupees now, so I guess it's okay. Alright, let's run back. How long does Jinx last? I don't remember. That's okay, I don't need my sword. I have 50 rupees, it's, it's good. We're all good. Alright, so we remember this. We need to make it the third day so that we can get in here. That's going to be left A. No, right A down. Oh, wrong way. I meant to do it backwards. Uh, no. I want to skip. Oh my god. Just tell me. Okay, so the skipping one would be playing right, right, A, A, down, down. Okay. Yes, we're going to go to Dawn of the Final Day. So just like I said before with getting the bunny hood, you could wait, of course, and do Romani Ranch all at once when it's a little bit more convenient. But, um, you know, I think it's better to just go ahead and just do certain things on the final day while you can get in on the final day. Later in the game, we will be able to get in sooner. Romani Ranch. I love the Roma Romani Ranch music. All right, so we're going to come back here. And last time we went into that spot that has all the cuckoos on the wall. Now we're going to go into this one that has the doggy on the front of the building. All right, and we are going to first save state. What do you want on a day like this? This is Madame Ma Mama Moo. <laughs> this is Mama Moo Yen's doggy racetrack. Didn't you know that? Do you want to try the dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. Uh, yes, we will try. Then first go and fetch the doggy that you think will run the fastest and bring it here. Okay, so the best way to do this is to put on the mask of truth. And then we are going to, let's save state again. And we're going to talk to the doggies. And they'll say something because we've got the mask of truth on. So he tells me I'm tired. Okay, so we don't want him. What about the gold one? He says he doesn't feel much different than usual. So we don't want him either. I hear him meow. I thought I heard someone come. Hey, there's Lady. Lady's under the desk. Okay, this says I feel like I could win. Okay, not him. We want someone confident. He's gonna take the day off tomorrow. Okay, what about you? 
I should do pretty well. Well, pretty well is not good enough. We need you to do excellent. Because we want to bet on the winning doggy. My belly hurts. Oh, I definitely don't want you. Come on, give me a good one. I feel like I can win. I don't want feel like. I want confident. I want you to know you can win. I'm too old for this. Oh, no, poor baby. Come here. Lady, come around here and I'll pet you. I can't reach under there. You have to come around over here. I can't predict the future? Oh my god. Give me a good comment. Gosh, doggies. I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. Okay, this is a good comment. So you're looking for one of three different comments. You got, I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. Um, I feel unstoppable or my paws feel lighter than air. So this is our dog. Um, because those three ones are the ones that have the chance to win. So yes, this doggy is fine. If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second place, you get double. If the dog you've chosen places third through fifth, you'll break even. Okay. If it does any worse than that, you'll lose. So, that, so that's explaining the game. Okay, so we want to bet 50 rupees. Yes, because we want to get, we want to win at least 150 rupees. Um, to get the piece of heart from here. He's doing pretty good. I get nervous when they take an early lead, though, because whatever it looks like now isn't usually how it ends up. Now, this is completely random. Like, totally super random. Um, so even though we bet on a confident dog, that doesn't mean they're going to, like, win. And our dog got third place. Okay. So third place means that we break even. So yes, we want to play again. So let's try to find a fast dog. Meow, hi, queen. Oh my gosh, so many kitties in here. Queen is a black fluffy kitty. Okay, today I should do pretty well. No. We want someone that is confident. Come here. Lighter than usual today. I think it's lighter than air, not lighter than usual. That's the winning comment. I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. Okay, there we go. This is a good comment. So. And uh, this is one of the things in the game that was written like by the developers when uh, they were working on Majora's Mask. I shared with you guys about how brutal the schedule was for doing this game. And there was many developers that um, basically just slept at the office, weren't spending a lot of time with their um, families. And so like they wrote these sorts of things into the game as kind of like part of that. Uh, lamenting that they weren't spending more time at home. That's also why the Deku Scrub gives is trying to give that gift to his wife, that first one in Clocktown. Same, same idea. Same idea. You can do it, doggy. You can do it. Come on, pull ahead. Pull ahead, stay ahead. Pull ahead, stay ahead. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah. Do it for the wife and kids. What? Take me for a walk and call me Spot. You took first place. Yep, so 150 rupees. You've won over 150 rupees, so I have to give you this bonus prize, too. It's a piece of heart. Fuck yeah. Uh, no. We got what we came for. Yes, we did. Okay. So, now... It's time reset time. We played the Song of Time. Yes, we would like to save and return to dawn of the first day. Oh, I should have deposited my rupees first. Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, 
Okay. Just like we've done many times, we have now reset time. The quickest way to... Wait, that's not her voice. <clears throat> the quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. Yes, I know. Okay, so the mountains is the next place we're supposed to go. Um, let's also save our state. Make sure that's saved. Okay. All right. So, um, I would like to tell you guys next that uh, next month in February, we are actually going to be taking a short pause on Majora's Mask. So, we are going to be playing our Valentine's Day game, which is Hot to Know Boyfriend. So, we're going to be playing that on our Sunday streams for Valentine's Day. We like to play a um, dating sim over Valentine's. Once we beat that game, we will go back to Majora's Mask for our main Sunday game. So that's what's going to happen. All right. We are going to take our break in the middle of stream here. But before we do that, I would like to say goodbye to those watching on the YouTube VOD. Um, people watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.